Hi, I've been looking for rechargeable 9 volt batteries and I th think this one is usable. This is EBL. The uh, nominal voltage is actually 7.4 volt and when you charge it up, you can charge it up to 8.2 or up to 8.4 volt. It is basically two lithium ion batteries in series to add up to 8.4 volt. So it's not quite 9 volt. So I'm interested in testing it or using it. So far, uh, they've been okay. I put them in a uh, smoke detector and uh, so far it hasn't beeped so that means the voltage is sufficient I don't know how long that will last these smoke detectors are uh, supposed to last over a year with a Duracell alkaline battery the normal or regular alkaline battery has about 550 milliamp hour the zinc carbon ones have about 400 milliamp. So at first I thought 600 milliamp hour is not that much, but then uh, actually it is, uh, this is more or less uh, the regular voltage or the regular capacity of a nine volt battery. So I just, I charge one of this up to a little over 8.2 volt and then I discharge it down to 6 volt and I got a little over 500 milliamp hour then I thought well it's not quite 600 so I charge it a little higher I use my own regulator charger and I charge it up to 8.35 volt or so and then I discharge it with my iClone uh, IMAX clone charger discharger and I discharge it at 0.5 amp and I discharge it down to 6 volt and I got 542 milliamp hour taken out from the 9 volt battery so uh, it's not quite 600 but then of course I only discharge it up to 6 volt and um, you can conceivably discharge it up to a maximum of 5 volt and I'm sure at that uh, voltage you would have a capacity of 600 milliamp but so depending on how many times you can recharge the battery, this would be a bargain because uh, you can use this over and over again. I bought four of these for around $18. So uh, $18, $19, depending, you know, I have to pay sales tax on it now on eBay. So it's about $4 or $4.50 uh, each. And I put them in uh, smoke detectors. Uh, and we'll see how long it, they will last. Uh, a uh, smoke detector is a slow discharge device. Uh, when you are using the IMAX to discharge it, you discharge it as like 500 milliamps. So the capacity would be less when you're using it in a smoke detector you would probably get uh, more uh, capacity you can buy a dedicated charger also made by um, EBL I didn't actually buy the charger so I have to use my own IMAX uh, or my own DIY charger to charge it 
not sponsored by them in any way and they make different types of lithium ion rechargeable battery this is the 26650 type uh, 5 amp hour so I've been using them and they're, they're pretty good they're not uh, they don't overstate their capacity um, so you, you do get close to 600 milliamp hour.